The South American sun cult looked a lot like ancient Egyptians. The sun is a significant part of almost all civilizations. From learning time to deciding directions while traveling, people in ancient times heavily depended on the sun. So I guess we can say that the sun is not just the center of our solar system, but the center of human civilization. Today we are talking about a cult that built its entire culture around the sun. They are a lot similar to the ancient Egyptians. Hello and welcome back to the Abandoned Archaeologist again, the channel to learn all about ancient archaeological findings. Today we will discuss the discovery of the South American sun cult, which appeared much like ancient Egyptians. But before we begin, to get your attention, we have a question you can answer at the end of the video. Which was the first civilization to worship the sun before determining Chankyo's purpose? So write down your answer in the comment section and see if you got it right. Here we begin. Sun and Human Civilizations The sun played a crucial role in several civilizations. Some called it the ball of fire and some called it God. Whatever they may call it, the ball of fire in the sky was how people learned to tell time determining what crops to harvest, hunting seasons, migration patterns and many other activities. We think about the night sky when we generally say that sky was a significant part of many civilizations. We think about the moon, stars and most importantly constellations. The night sky is fascinating. Stars made ancient humans on earth wonder what they were. Some used them to find directions, especially the North Star. It is believed that the slaves in the US escaped following the North Star. In some cultures, especially in the Eastern world, many believe the moon will affect a woman's menstrual cycle. Take the example of Scorpio. Scorpio looked like a Scorpio and hence the name. But the same set of stars looked like a fish hook for Maori in New Zealand. Another example was Greeks thought that the Milky Way was actually the milk of Hera in their constellations which they called asterisms. Asterisms helped them to plan to harvest and even sacrifice humans. The same set of stars, the same sky and the same moon meant different things to different people and so does the sun. The sun was thought to be a disk in the sky earlier. People thought the disk's presence above the horizon created day and the absence created night. The sun was assumed to be transported across the sky in a chariot in the Bronze Age. Finally, people believed that the sun was transported back to the place of sunrise and back to the underworld during the night. Similarly, Egyptians worshipped the sun. They even built the world-famous sun temple. The solar god Ra played an important role in religion, society and political significance in the ancient land of pharaohs. In the capital city of the Egyptian empire, Thebes, they even built a spectacular temple called the Karnak Temple. Like ancient Egyptians, the cult worshipped the sun like a god, but instead of a temple, they built a solar observatory. Unfortunately, it took us many years to understand who built it, but now we have the answer. The observatory is called Chankyo. What is Analemma? It may look like an infinity symbol, but it isn't. This is the shape that the sun takes across the sky. If you take a picture of the sun every day simultaneously, you'll see that the sun's position is changing. And can you guess why? It's because of the Earth's axial tilt, the elliptical orbit around the sun. The same reason why days are shorter during winter and longer during summer. Sun has always been a topic of curiosity. People have been pointing at the sun's position since ancient times and arrived at a shape resembling an infinity symbol called analemma. Chankyo had an extraordinary system for observing analemma. Let's get to know more about what Chankyo has to offer. Everything you need to know about Chankyo. Chankyo is one of the greatest discoveries of our centuries. Chankyo was built between the 9th and 12th centuries. It is a complex with towers and fortified structures in the Peruvian coastal desert found in the Casma Session Basin in the Ancash department of Peru. The towers made many researchers curious about their purpose for years mainly because of their astronomical alignment. The alignment makes a simple but accurate solar calendar. The main feature of Chankyo is a series of 13 towers arranged in a straight line on top of a hill. They vary in height. The tallest tower is 30 meters tall now, 
It is believed that it was even taller back then. Speaking about the structure of the astronomical complex, the towers on the west and the east sides of the hill are observation points. These points are used to observe the sunrise and sunset. The sunrise was observed from the west observation points, and the sunset was observed from the east. The accuracy with which these are built is truly plausible. The Chankyo site is a remarkable example of human ingenuity and innovation in astronomy, utilizing the solar cycle with an artificial horizon. This site can accurately mark the solstices, equinoxes, and other significant dates within the year with an impressive precision of one to two days. This testament to the culmination of a long history of astronomical practices in the Kazma Valley is a testament to the brilliance of its creators. Through archaeological excavation and geophysical survey, the western and eastern observation points have been identified about the 13 towers at Chankyo. This supports the belief that the primary purpose of all these structures was to function as a calendar curl instrument. While some aspects of the archaeo astronomical interpretations of the property may require further discussions, the conditions of authenticity in terms of material and form are met since no invasion conservation and reconstruction campaigns have altered the property substance. The site remains an unadulterated and pure example of human innovation in astronomy. The portal to the heritage of astronomy highlights that only ceremonial structures have survived. Moreover, these structures have generally been situated in spaces that would not compromise the maximum use of riverside land for agriculture. Less robust residential sites and cemeteries, more closely associated with the cultivation zone along the rivers, are no longer visible. Thus, the Chankyo site is a unique and precious relic of ancient astronomy that has survived the ravages of time and remains a source of inspiration for modern-day scientists and astronomers. According to archaeologists, during the site's occupation, these structures would have been adorned in vivid colors, ranging from tan and yellow to ochre and white, and sometimes even covered with relief, graffiti or fingerprints. These details offer a glimpse into the daily life and artistic expression of the people who created and utilized these structures. Unlike other ancient sites worldwide, where architectural alignments focus on a single astronomical target, the line of towers at Chankyo spans the entire annual solar rising and setting arcs from two distinct observation points. The astronomical facilities at Chankyo are a remarkable example of human creative genius, an outstanding demonstration of ancient landscape timekeeping. This awe-inspiring structure was dedicated to regulating seasonal ritual events, including religious festivals, solar worship, and staging ritual or real battles. In addition, the observatory maintained a ceremonial calendar through solar observations, which was essential for the ancient civilization's way of life. Unfortunately, very little is known about the civilization that constructed this magnificent observatory, except that it was located between the Chasma and Session rivers and is now known as the Chasma Session culture. They probably worshipped the sun as a god, just like the Incas. According to UNESCO, the solar observatory at Chankyo is a testament to the long historical evolution of astronomical practices in the Chasma Valley. The Chankyo Archaeo Astronomical Complex is a unique and exceptional testimony to a disappearing cultural tradition. What do you think of this discovery? Comment your views in the comment section below and the answer to our question is Inca. Also make sure to subscribe for more such videos. See you soon.